for another exciting episode of Sharpie Puss Productions. It's magical. Magical times. So, um, yeah, today we're in Maldraxxus. I did a bit of levelling this morning before I uh, went to work and, uh, yeah. So now we're just sort of questing through this zone, which is uh, pretty badass. Like the other zone, it's really quite awesome and epic looking, you know. The uh, art team again have absolutely rinsed their, uh, their skill in this. There we go. Um, I've changed the volume about a bit, so we'll see if it's any better today. Um, it's a, a few people said it was a bit quiet when they watched it back. We shall see. Um, some other updates. I um, finally picked up uh, engineering and mining because I was a bit of a plonker and I uh, walked straight past it <laughs> in the... Um, main zone, whatever it's called, I can't remember. What is the main zone called? Uh, Orbius, or Oribus, Oribus, yeah. That place, that's where all the professions were. Oh, can't loot that in shapeshift. Um, oh, I see, you got to pull it out. Interesting. So, yeah, I've been um, collecting some pets as I go as well because um, I've I've got one of these already, so I, I don't need that. But uh, yeah, just collect them because I I do actually do the pet battles when I'm bored, to be honest. And um, I thought, well, since I'm going around these zones, I might as well pick pick some up on the way just in case they they become MVP. Um, but yeah, so that's. Check this one. And that we've got all of them sorted. Gosh, can't target. Why can't I target? Come on. Ah, interesting. So you can't kill that one for some reason. I um I always kill the ones with like no greens and greys because as far as I know it um it works the same yeah you can't target them at all it's really weird uh, to kill them uh, as far as I know it works the same that if other people target and you know click that same one they all get the same selection as you will so and no one wants like you know grey pets for example it's uh, Pretty useless. Um, I've got an updated version, uh, upgraded version of Starfall, so I'm doing a bit more AoE damage now. But um, the mobs are getting a bit stronger now as well, so I'm taking a lot more damage, so I'm kind of having to balance out my uh, AoE kind of thing. Not not hurting up too many. Like usually three is okay. So I'm just sort of, you know, rounding them up. And then if there's obviously another person on one, then that's good. Oh, evade! What? Come on! How was that evading? I was hitting him. But uh, yeah, I'm quite quite liking uh, Druid so far. Never leveled one before properly, like uh, only with like recruit a friend and stuff. But that doesn't count because you well, you don't actually play the character do you with recruit a friend really. You just sort of get a million levels and see what happens. Okay, I can kill these ones. I think I've got like most of the pets. I need to um, activate rarity, see if they've updated that add-on actually, because um, although that add-on causes a bit of uh, FPS drops, it 
does help in uh, telling you like what pets you've got for each zone and everything. Also, I'm just going to test the tick to speech one second. Kappa. Yeah, it works. Good old Kappa. Does rarity work? No, it doesn't look like it. In common. No, it's probably not updated for Shadowlands yet. But, um. Either way, let's check this one. No. Graze. But, uh, yeah, I'll try not to do too many pet battles because it's not the most uh, exciting content. I'm sure people would rather watch, like, the uh, kind of leveling process a bit. And see the zones and whatnot. I'm uh, really liking this sort of extra dot that um, this kind of uh, covenant have. It's uh, it's quite nice for a, for a boonkin. It's nice because it's just like an extra sort of uh, you know something to go with your moonfire and starfire sort of thing. Feel more like a sort of a warlock, you know, with all these sort of dots going on. It's uh, not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, let's uh, round up a couple more of these. It's, uh, I don't know, some satisfying about, I think it's just Starfire, to be honest, it's like such a satisfying spell to like just run around with, like watching all these, it's, um, it reminds me of Warcraft 3, back in the day, where you'd have, um, I think it was actually Tyrande who had it back then, she, she was on like the Tiger, Priestess of the Moon, and, uh, Gosh, she was a beast. Like in uh, in a lot of custom games, you could build her to just max that damage like so much that these like Starfire would just like absolutely wreck. So good. Okay, but uh, yeah, so far I'm quite quite looking forward to playing Druid. To be fair. I uh, I need to actually figure out what I need to do for like resto and maybe even try tanking again. Like uh, you know, I, I was like uh, main slash off tank for um, most of TVC and Wrath, and then uh, that was like hardcore tanking as well, like hardcore alt tanking. But uh, after that, I sort of just. Uh, don't know, sort of lost my confidence as a tank. Uh, the the tanking that I knew kind of died, and um, it, it changed too much that I just didn't enjoy it, and then I stopped. But um, from from what I hear, like tanking is not too bad in like you know more modern WoW now. Again, they sort of made it fun again, so maybe give that a go. Um, healing. I did a bit of healing back in the day in like Kara and stuff. Um, but nothing too serious. Did a bit in Wrath as well. Just uh, pugging Ice Crown 10-25. Pretty, pretty good expansion for pugging that actually. Um, but yeah, I haven't done much healing so um, you know, it's, uh, it's a cool thing, like down here, you can't see it, I've got like a little call to arms add-on. Tells me like, you know, what you'll get, like tanks will, oh shit, I just signed up as a tank. <laughs> yeah, don't want to do that. But um, you, it shows you like the rewards, you get like a void sa veiled satchel of cooperation. I'm not sure what that will actually contain, but um, yeah, maybe... Uh, Maybe I'll start uh, doing some dungeons, probably at max level, I'll get a few like uh, 
pieces of gear. I, I hate being that person who just turns up in a dungeon with like semi crap gear and just pissing off everyone. It's just it's not fun for anyone really, is it? Especially the healer. It's like uh I was like that in uh T B C like I I wouldn't go into dungeons until I had like all pre best in slot stuff like um because like back then I, I pugged a lot sort of thing and um you had to make a reputation for yourself on the server and if you were that guy who just you know went in with crap gear and no sort of respect you aren't going to get invited back to groups but um yeah, Hardcore made a good name for himself, I think, uh, mostly. Maybe maybe had one or two slight issues which were self inflicted. But you know, that was that was near the end of Wrath and that was when I was sort of uh, a bit less serious. But uh T B C respectful orc hundred percent. Um and uh yeah. That's that. But uh, yeah, it's a shame now. I sort of, uh, I really do miss the sort of identity that your characters had. Like, I, I mean, uh, you know, I'm in, I'm in a guild with a lot of friends, and I never see any of them out in the world ever. Like, it's a shame. Like, I always see like what zones they're in. I've got like a, a like add-on here. It shows like all the zones are in, never once pass any guildies through the whole of my time in BFA and this, never saw a guildie out in the wild sort of thing and uh, it's a shame because when I played classic I was always sort of looking where people were and uh, I'd sort of try and surprise them by like, you know, turning up and helping them with like, I don't know, world PvP or whatever they were up to, questing or whatnot, just uh just having the identity of like a character and a person in WoW is like so, like, I don't know, it's just so disconnected now. It's non existent. It's a shame. And that was one of the biggest uh, complaints that I had, like, after they introduced all this cross realm stuff and whatnot. Even looking for group. Uh, in Wrath sort of removed a bit of it. Uh, I remember in TBC like um, uh, gosh I can't remember the guild what they're called now. Um, I know they, they were called Nihilium back then or Nihilum and uh, then they were Insidia and I think they went on to be something else. But I remember I used to pug a lot of uh, raids with them like um, Zalaman a bit of like Black Temple trash farming and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, they they sort of they kept inviting me back as a tank sort of thing, and um, I was uh, I was quite proud of that because you know obviously everyone knows them back in the day like Kungun was like the sort of the Swifty of EU sort of thing. He was like uh, you know up there with Athene kind of thing, Athene greatest gamer of the world. Um, so. Yeah. Um, I don't actually know what I'm doing. Stringy sport. Oh, I just got to get more of them things. Okay. Um, so yeah, basically it's um, it's uh, I was quite proud of uh, my reputation back then, and uh, you know, a lot of people they work so hard for their sort of reputation in in WoW, in Classic and TBC. And then you sort of just see it, like, dissolve because not everyone has, like, you know, an amazing guild or, like, they're not, like, you know, really popular Twitch streamers or anything like that or YouTube back then, I guess. And, uh, I don't know, you, you weren't, like, a celebrity and you sort of just, you just became another sort of, another default tank sort of thing. Um... A default healer and just default DPS. It, it was very rare that you ever sort of invited people back into your group kind of thing, unless you were like in a guild and you raided as a guild and a party and stuff. Shame. That's one thing I really hope that in the future maybe they address. Because although 
a lot of people say bad things about Blizzard and a lot of it is kind of justified. Um, they are making some decent decisions every now and then, like in the right direction, like for example the, the whole PvP changes that they did with uh, Shadowlands. I don't know if many people were following that, but um, it was... Oh crap, sorry, I'm doing one of them quests. One. I need to pay attention here, one sec. Stir the cauldron. Oh, there you go. I wasn't even paying attention, I managed to do it. I think it was one of those quests where it just sort of... You have to throw random crap in the... Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Gosh, what was I saying? That's a good point. Uh, oh yeah, the, the the PvP changes in um, in Shadowlands have been really positive sort of thing. Like they've they've brought back like a reason to do arena, a reason to do like rated battlegrounds, a reason to do like normal battlegrounds again. It's just uh, the conquest. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like um, it's back how it was. I think in was it. It might have even been WAD where you can you you don't have weekly conquests. It's like if you miss a week, then it's uh, it comes back sort of thing, and uh, like you can just keep going and building your conquests. It's got like a kind of catch up mechanic kind of thing, but it's good. Hey, let's do this underscore music. Welcome, welcome to the jungle. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just sort of talking to myself at the moment just about uh, the expansion, sort of like making a little kind of diary so I can uh, upload these to YouTube and uh, just look back on them sort of thing. But um, yeah, so far this expansion, like leveling wise, it's uh, it's quite good fun, the zones are really interesting. Uh, it feels like I'm going to actually hit 60 probably before I finish all the actual quests and stuff, but uh, that's a good thing because I think uh, there was a problem at the beginning in the beta where people were actually running out of quests and stuff, which is uh, not ideal for an expansion, you know, you don't want to be doing that for straight away. Um, but yeah. I need to start paying attention to quests. Some of these quests are like very sort of unique compared to uh, back in the day. Like it's not just go and kill this and kill that. You've got to actually use a lot of items on stuff. And uh, like this blob, for example, I would have n never have bothered to look at that. Round them all up, get a bit of starfire on the go. Pow. Starfire is just so satisfying. I can understand multi boxes, why they had. Uh, I know it was obviously the most efficient with druids, but uh, it's, it's just a satisfying like feeling to just AoE everything down as well. With Starfire. It is really like Warcraft 3 Starfire. So good. Whoever designed that or wanted to implement that, give that man a promotion. Okay. Like, um, you know, BFA. Although it was a bad expansion overall, one thing, oh, sorry, one thing it did do well is uh, the artwork, and um, every expansion the artwork just gets better and better. Like you know the the models and 
the uh, the armor looks better. Like you know, obviously it would be nice to have um, armor sets again, like class sets and stuff, tier tier sets. But um, you know, um, like like this model for example, it looks pretty badass, pretty smooth. You know, liquid, no FPS drops or anything. It's uh, it's good. It's nice. It's really nice. But um, yeah, just the the architecture as well of the world it looks so much better. It's uh, like you know compared to previous expansions. Oh, I like this guy's hat. Look at that. It's like a, one of them plague doctors from uh, back in the day. But he actually looks like he's got a beak. <laughs> he probably has, to be honest. Will this be too many? Is there any one way to find out? Good, we're Gucci. Oh, I've I've got that ability as well. There's um I keep forgetting about this. There's like a shield that you can have as this covenant. Easy. I want to be uh, a bit careful when pulling this one because there was another boss, mini boss like this a minute ago and um, he he actually almost killed me to be honest because uh, he does a fair bit of damage so I'm going to not pull any extras with, uh, with him about. There we go. Sorted. What do we have to do? Just got to keep killing stuff to get journal pages here. So keep the uh, AOE on the go. There's another. Oh, that's it. Where is Stradoma? I must craft the potion. I must. Poor plague divisor. He's uh, losing his uh, losing his memory or mind a bit. There, it sounds like. I, I like this zone because it reminds me of like East and Western Plague Lands. You can see like the um, you know the mushrooms and everything, and uh, obviously the the architecture is the same as the uh, uh, what do you call it? Like all the uh, what are those floating things called? Uh, not citadels, are they there? Um, gosh, what was next, Ramus? What was that like floating? What did they call it? Necropolis or something, I think. Uh, so, uh, hello, hello, mate. Oh, did we ding? Ding, level 56. Nice. I kind of, um, I don't want any more skills. Like, I don't mind new new upgrades to skills, but I'm look at my bar. I've got like th these two slots, the spare ones, are for my engineering um, rocket boots and glider and. C3, that, although that's just decoys at the moment, that'll be like grenades and stuff, so I don't want to have any more abilities, because I, I don't know, I'm, I need to like maybe look at other people and see what sort of binds they use, because 
I'm using all the binds that I usually use and um, I don't know if it's just a druid thing because I never had this problem on my hunter I had like um, I had loads of spare buttons on my hunter but on my druid I don't know I've got like hardly any space at all what's this explosive strength Ooh, don't mind if I do where's that plug going quite high into the sky apparently Oh, he sounds a bit creepy, doesn't he? That was uh, one nice thing, actually. Um, every now and then, if I see someone who's like fighting and they're struggling a bit, I chuck them a, a rejuve and uh, regrowth. And uh, this guy gave me a nice little stack of uh, sweet silvergill sausages. So, you know, mutual respect there. It's nice. Whoever that guy was, you know, thank you. If you're, uh, if you ever see my stream and you know, obviously you won't, but you know, I like to believe you will. What's this? What am I doing? Have you been keeping up with your rituals? Um, what am I doing here exactly? Oh, shit, what's going on? Sorry, excuse my French. I don't understand what I'm doing here. Oozing ingredient, vicious oil. To, oh, vicious oil. Is that vicious oil? What is this? What am I doing? I need to read, really, don't I? Oh. I don't know. I, I don't like reading quest text. That's the only thing. I just like figuring it out, even if it does take me a while. Look at my character, the way it's walking. <laughs> Constipated deer moose thing. Um, whoa, okay, being sick everywhere, that's nice. Okay, there's something yellow on the map here. Do I have to jump in this red stuff or something? Oh gosh. What's going on? You would make quite the suitable vessel. <laughs> God, he sounds creepy. You'd make quite a suitable vessel. He sounds like, um, gosh, what's he called? Um, is it Oni Cartoons or something? He does that really weird Bugs Bunny thing which I can't play on stream because it's really quite disturbing and probably against terms of use but uh, yeah it's like, <laughs> I, I don't even know how to explain it so I won't it's just very disturbing that's all I'm gonna say might not even be only cartoons I can't remember who it was I don't even think I need to kill all these. I'm pretty sure I'm doing something completely wrong, but um, yeah, we'll figure that out. That's a problem for future me. The future me will figure it out somehow. Okay, I think it's something to do with this. Haste. Oh, it's dealing damage, so it's not that. Is there something to do with this? It's there's a big arrow point in there. Do I just stay in here, in this circle? You look hale today. How do you serve the Pool of potion. Do I have to? Have I got any quest items? I think I had a thing for quest items. Oh, I've just got that sword. Oh shit, what was that? Remove head. <laughs> hmm, I'm rather confused. Do I have to bring something from here? Gosh, 
wish if only I had viewers to tell me how to do it. First world problems. Okay, what do I need here? Ooze ingredient fish. Oh, I've probably got to um kite those goos into that pool or something. I don't know what this is doing. What's that? Gross! You've been slimed. <laughs> Anything here? No. Oh, it's changed colour. Okay. Let's, uh, maybe we can kite that. Let's just try kiting it to the to the pool and uh, see what happens. Oh, yeah, you're just gonna evade. Nice. So it's not that. Goodness sake, maybe this pool? Is that doing anything? No. Nothing at all. Fantastic. <sighs> Am I gonna have to read? Pool of potions, pool of potions, let's read. Have the uses ingredients I shall teach you poor potions potions kill the slimes get the oozy vicious oil where's vicious oil do I have okay apparently I don't have any vicious oil so what I'm just not getting drops I guess I'll just keep killing stuff then Wait, what's that thing? What's that weird whistle? What is that? Ah, oh. there we go. Can I mount up with that thing? Oh, I can. Oh, look, it turns into like a double barrel jetpack. And I just deliver it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, got it. Gosh, I could have done this ages ago. I need to learn to read tests, uh, quest texts. Sorry. Mine. Oh, she got it as well. Fair enough. Okay, one more. Oh, there's a chest uh, over there. We'll get that while we're at it. If we can. There it is. Requires empty plague bottle. Have we got? No, we, of course we haven't. Oh, lag. There we go. Oh, so none there. Fair enough. What about oh, this one? Sorted. Daily quest? The cycle has brought you to me. Fair enough. 
seems a bit random to unlock a daily quest at this level, but okay. Where's this vicious oil? Mix ingredients thrown into the pool. Hmm. Fair enough. Um, what is that? Strong alcoholic beverage. Oh, we'll just try killing a few more of these things then, I guess. Maybe it's a daily. So where do I take this into this one? Yeah. Okay. That's a lot though. How many does that need? Oh yeah, that's mine. Give it back. Um oh just just three again? Even though it says thirty. Two of three. Oh, I can get another one, look at that. So that's the daily. How do you serve the Margrave? Fair enough, but I wonder what happens when you get all 30. I kind of want to just to see, but I uh, kind of know that I'll be probably disappointed as well because it won't do anything amazing. How do I get that empty plague bottle, I wonder? There's something on the table. Oh yeah, there we go. Fair enough. Got a new toy. Let's see what that does. Where is it? It's weird. Usually it opens directly to the toy, but it didn't. What's it called? A slime. Really? Why isn't it appearing? It was a toy, wasn't it? Okay, so apparently I don't have it, even though I learnt it. Fun times. Okay, there's another chest. That's up on the... Up there somewhere, I guess. Which I have no idea how to get to. Maybe, uh, maybe you fill that up and then you can like go up this, uh, or maybe you can go up it. Can I raise up? No. I might try and fill that thing up, you know. It's, uh, I don't think it'll take too long. Let's just see what happens. that guy coming from? I must have AOE'd him with my uh, Starfire accidentally. Can I take that blob with me? Those things look properly cool. Really badass chonky, chonky skeletons. Oh, it fills up um, from other players as well. That's interesting. <sighs> I'm. Um, I know the music can't be like you know too crazy here because well we're dead and everything and these zones aren't exactly <laughs> you know fun and everything but. Uh, kind of, I don't know, I guess I was expecting more to the music, but I'm not really feeling it. It's mostly, it just feels like ambience more than anything. 
It doesn't really feel like music, you know. But uh, maybe the other zones will have better music. Maybe the Night Fae one will uh, spice things up a bit. Because the Night Elf zones were always really nice in the forest and stuff. So, God, that thing looks cool, doesn't it? Scummer. Scummer. Any blobs that I can take back with me? Look at that guy going for it. Should I give him a heal? Yeah, why not? Chuck a moonfire on there as well so I get the kill. It's just the red ones that count. See, I think um, I think it would be nice to have these kind of videos where you just like you know leveling through the game. Uh, like relaxing, you can just have them on in the background or like when you're trying to sleep or something. I mean, I sometimes put, uh, I've got like wireless headphones, like uh, the little ones that just slot into your ear and I sometimes just wear those and listen to like game playthroughs or reviews and stuff and uh, you know, nothing too crazy. Any no no blob there. What about that blob? Can that drop something? Any blob? Nope. No blob. That one? Give me some blob. Give me a good old blob. Go on, give you me a good old blob. Blob, blob, blob. Yeah, blob. Who's that blob? Oh, have I been disconnected from chat? Not in a channel. What's happened there then? Let's try again. Testing. Yeah, there we go. That works. Why, uh, that can go over there actually. Testing one, two, three. Just want to see if uh, the chat appears in my stream. Doesn't appear to be. It should though. East Coast of Rome. Why isn't the text appearing in my stream? One second. Um, ah, oh, there we go. Duck. So it scrolls up. So we'll put it there. That's that's a decent enough space for it, I think. Oh, you can put other stuff in it. Ooze and goo. So it doesn't all have to be that red stuff. 
wonder what this does. So weird. But this is the thing, I've decided like I'm not going to look at, you know, Wowhead and all these YouTube videos for this expansion. I just want to like discover stuff for myself. Like I don't really care about being like the MVP of, you know, like top dips and everything. I just, I'll, I'll do a bit of raid finder, do some raiding. I'll obviously look at the bosses and stuff and mechanics because otherwise I'll just piss everyone off. But and uh, dungeons and stuff but for like finding the secrets and stuff I just wanna like find out them for myself kind of thing like, it's just so much more fun you know when you just work something out for yourself I don't know it's just more satisfying kind of thing Yeah, there we go. Getting getting good blob drops now. I've got a lot of gear. I should really sell some of it. Oh, here we go. Okay. So we summoned a rare spawn. Interesting. That's pretty cool. better than I thought. I thought it was going to be something really lame. I thought it was just going to, I don't know, like reset and give you a buff or something. Did it drop? Oh, bloodworm burrows into your skin and increases your leech. Cool. <laughs> Got a trinket as well with uh, one two two item level. Interesting indeed. With leech on it. Okay. Where's that leech I got? I want to put the leech in my skin. Whatever it said. I don't see it though. Pines when picked up. It looks like that. Barrower. Let's have that. What is going on? Like, um. going on, I'm like looting items and not receiving them and some shit and same with the toys not appearing properly. So that's cool, I guess you can like, like summon different uh, bosses there and stuff, maybe like depending on what you're putting, maybe you can like create your own kind of, you know, trinket and stuff there by putting in certain amounts of stuff. Hey Lurx, welcome. Welcome to the channel, my friend. We're just playing a bit of relaxing uh, Shadowlands, doing a bit of leveling. We're not uh, doing anything too exciting, I'm afraid, but uh, I hope you enjoy your stay here. What am I doing in here? The Dread Shade Extract. Where do I take this from? Is, am I missing something? Dread Shade. Ah, oh, this is Dread Shade. Do I. Aha! Attack the plants. It's like Botanica. Anything? No. Nope. This one. Ah, there it is. The big one there. Sword. He's uh, going for the speed level. I should really um, put some Tinker stuff on 
my stuff as well because I'm not replacing a lot of my gear to be honest so let's shove some uh, where'd that go rocket boots and stuff uh, where's the old goblin glider we can shove that on that's cloak isn't it and what else have we got the nitro boots that goes on belt. That increases my uh, engineering as well. I think I've got macros for the boots. Yeah. Boots and glider. There we go. Much better. Gosh, what did that turn me into? I shall enjoy I'm like a troll. Oh, apprentice. <laughs> there you are. Howdy. No timers, no detoxoids. Only one final procedure remains. And that's this, I guess. And this. And then this. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Oh, that's uh, spooky. She's got the um, store helmet on by the looks of things. Well, actually, it looks like that helmet from uh, Diablo 3, Leoric's crown. She wasn't very happy. Oh, here we go again. Look at that chonky belly there. Absolute chonker. I always have time for my brightest people. Oh, apprentice, <laughs> I'd be delighted to help you with your own project. I will meet you soon, my apprentice. I've got so much gear, I just uh, I haven't been asked to go through it all because that's the thing, I might have some decent off-spec gear in there as well because I've got some stuff with vitality on it and whatnot. Okay, so we're done there, I guess. Is that the same speed? I know it's a bit faster with rocket boots, I think. <laughs> that is funny with the air. Uh, I've never been a druid with the goblin stuff before, the gliding and stuff. It's cool. Oh, this is an instance, is it? Plagueful? Yeah, okay, that's an instance, so I don't need to do that. Not yet. I, I will do the instances. I just uh, not not in the mood for them at the moment, and I prefer to go in and actually um, heal them probably. But I need to set all that up. Um, how do I get there? Do I go up there? Maybe. Or is this back the way we came? Oh, we can probably get that chest actually if we go up here because I think that was on top of this thing. If I can. It's probably like a little jumping uh, puzzle. Whoops. Maybe it's a jumping puzzle. Maybe I'm just being a... Plonkasaurus and it's nothing like that. But 
But there was a uh, chest up there, so you must be able to get up here somehow. Do a bit of wall jumping, classic style. No. Nope. Oh well, I don't. I don't really know unless I can go from that way. But it doesn't look like it's connected. Can't go up that mushroom. Can I? It's like right up there on the mushroom, probably. Oh, maybe in here. Alright, that's that botanical place again. Ah, it doesn't matter, we'll, um, oh, never mind. Oh, my glider. No, if my glider wasn't on cooldown, we would have got up there then. Oh, gosh, yeah, it's only 10 seconds. Oh, man. That's annoying. <laughs> it's like m missed opportunity there, wasn't it? Oh. I can't believe it. What's that thing? Plague form potion. Oh, it's that thing again. Movement speed. Cannot mount. <laughs> oh, look, I'm one of them things. That's so cool. <laughs> awesome. I'm kind of tempted to try again with the old uh, rocket boots, hope they malfunction again maybe. Okay, so we'll give the rocket boots one more try, then we'll go for it. The funny thing is, it's going to be absolutely jack shite in that chest. It's going to be useless. One second, just going to have a quick drink. Oh, Bosha. That's some good fodder. Oh, right. Okay, here we go. Please malfunction. No, of course, now they work. Gosh. That's so annoying. Oh well, I'm not going to waste any more time with that. So let's, let's just go to the next, uh, next zone and we'll fly there. Hang on, one second. I might move my UI around a tiny bit because that bar is uh, quite in an annoying spot. I want it a bit lower, I think. Class bar. So that, that can actually be above. And we'll move this to here. Like that. Target cast bar can be there, and the class bar itself can be there, I think. I think that should be fine. Yeah, let's see how that goes, to be fair. It was just a bit too centered in my UI, to be honest. It was a bit getting in the way. 
nice and now I can actually like see kind of feet. It could still be a bit lower maybe, but that's that's fine. Okay, where are we going? It feels like I can I should be able to just run there. Easier than fly there. Even though there's literally a flight path there, but I mustn't have picked it up. Oh, we're running back. I guess. Oh, that's a big old, uh, a big old bony boy right there. Let's get the flight path before we forget. You here for inspection. Hey, welcome back, Moobot. Thank you for Moobotting me. Don't know why Moobot keeps disconnecting. I don't know if it's normal, but still, there we go. Okay, so what are we doing here? Empower the rune of something. Let's do it. Oh, got three of them. Just need two more. How goes the fight? Yeah, pretty good, thank you. What is that? Kevin. What? Why? What is that? It's like wearing a hat and it's got a cake on it. Okay. I must be missing something here. Is this some kind of out of date April Fool's joke or something? Or maybe. Maybe it's just an inside joke I'm too undank to understand? Oh, wait, where am I going? That's quite a way away. Can I fly there? I can fly a bit closer. It's a bit weird, like... All the other zones were like, you know, holding your hand, like, taking you everywhere you needed to go, but this zone is like... a lot of travelling about. to go. Can we even go that way? I think no, I need to follow that road. So follow the road down here. That's the one. Oh, I'm gonna just make sure to keep picking up mines because eventually there's about to be some new engineering goggles that are going to be epic or blue and going to be really good again like there is every expansion so I'm going to need a lot of ore and stuff So what am I doing here? Is this another dungeon? Yeah, that's another dungeon. Ignore that. Oh wait, that's the same dungeon. God, I'm a plonk. I could have just walked there faster from where I was. There's another mine here. I, I like the new mine models. They look really cool and unique. Like, much better than... Uh, than the previous models. Thorium is still, rich Thorium is still the best looking 
mining node though, it's just so satisfying seeing a rich thorium. And not only in classic, in, in this in retail as well, just rich thorium, it still looks and feels like really juicy, like you're going to get something good out of that, you know. I'll create another chest. Hopefully I can get to this one. Oh look, there's another one of them things. Another mine around here somewhere. Bit of lag as well. Bit of FPS drops. Really? Is the chest going to be on top of that thing again or something? It's down. Where is it then? Aha! Ooh, little mushroom people. Hello. Where's this chest? Are you hiding it somewhere? I don't see it. Have I got to kill these frightened mushroom people? That seems a bit unfair. I don't really want to kill them. But alas, I must, probably. <laughs> yeah, I, I was also up for offering greetings, but apparently there's a chest here and I think I have to kill you to get it, so I apologise. I still don't see it. What is... Am I missing something here? Can someone see something in here? Is it hidden? I don't see anything. I think I'm being bamboozled again, to be honest with you. I've, I've had enough of all this bamboozling. There's no other entrance, oh, for goodness sake. Stolen jar, where is the stolen jar then? There is no jar in there, unless it's inside this plant. Is it sitting inside somehow? Nope, I give up, I really, really give up. I think I'm just going to have to wait until flying comes about before I get most of these chests. Who's that? Vash! What the hell? Oh, hey Vash. Nice to see you again. I really wish Naga were playable creatures. Like, they look so cool. Like, see, you've got customizable tails. You could have a bone tail or a Naga tail, or you could have a huge sock on it. It would just be such a cool, cool class to play. Like, slither around like a, a worm. The Vash encounter in SSC, that was a good, good encounter. I used to like that one. Actually, I used to love all TPC bosses. I thought they were all so different and uh, really quite good fun. Is that Jarbeck? God, why do I keep checking? What is wrong with me? It's not going to be there. Why do you waste your time? Let's see if he finds it though. Or she. No, she gave up as well. Fair enough. Let's see, it's not just me. I'm not the only one. Okay. 
So what am I doing here? Whoa. Have I just been disconnected? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Um one second here. Um gosh. Apologies. Uh, I'm just quickly checking for add ons. Won't be a second. Just want to see if there's any updates available because a lot of the time it's add ons that are causing these kind of disconnects. Uh, just one for Trade Skill Master. Okay, let's uh, get back in. Hopefully we're not dead, which wouldn't surprise me. Hmm. Oh God, what's what's happening? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, so what am I doing here? So what, just got to get them three things? One more. Where are you? What do I need here? And I'm charged. Okay, that was nice and straightforward. Showing another chest here, or is that the same one <laughs> again? Is there anything here? F the chest. What's this? I need to use this on. Signal Vash is devoted to ensure the target must be weakened. Ah, uh, okay. You will not How weak is weakened? That's what I want to know. Oh. No? no. There we go. What do we need? More bit oh now we just need to kill those. Okay.
one more. And there he is. Tell me nothing apparently. We can't have that. Where's that mine? Where do I take him? Back to Vash, probably. Vash will say slash do. Okay. Oh, I think you will. What's your story? Shall I ask her? Must you wound me? I don't my work. Okay, wake me on death. I help from as well. Lady Vash, I know who you are, Jesus. You don't have to tell me. My sword. Sure. Okay. Fair enough. So. She just wants a bit of revenge. Fair enough. Okay, I shall. I need my uh, crystals back. Where to? Stolen jar. Oh my god, that's that. <laughs> that's that thing I was after. Is it finally here? Am I actually going to go and check again? Even though I said I wouldn't. Yes, I am. Let's go, let's go. Stolen jar, stolen jar. Where? Are you taking a piss? Where is this stolen jar? Is it something to do with these mushroom people? This item begins a quest. Where's the item? I can't target it or anything. Oh, where is this stolen jar? Like, if if it was stolen, it would be behind them. They'd be guarding it or something. They wouldn't just leave it out. Am I seriously going to kill them again and hope that they drop something? I am wasting my time. I know I am. They're not going to drop crap, are they? Oh, what a surprise. No stolen jar at all. When did I get that? I die. Okay. Bugger it. Let's get quick. 
quest then again. I might, uh, it's coming up to one o'clock here, so I'll uh, probably do this last zone of, oh, I went the wrong way, I was going to be doing these quests, but I can do this one as well, why not? What do I have to do here? Blood tusk. Oh, this is where I need to chop off their heads. Nice. Oh my god, more more rare things that I can't get probably. Okay, so what, I just chop off their heads? Yeah, apparently so, and what was the whistle for? Oh, that's for something else. Okay. Oh, I can see a tentacle. Those things look so cool. I love that, literally summon a moon on top of their head. I wonder why I never played balance. I mean, balance in classic and TVC was like pretty cack, but um, I don't know. I'm uh, really, oh, sorry, I'm getting a bit tired. I'm uh, really quite enjoying it, to be honest, so far it's... That's good. Oh, I forgot to chop their heads off, didn't I? There we go. Okay. Quite lots of pets there. Look at them all. All scattered on this map. I think I've got those ones though, to be fair. Gladiator. Each other coming through this tunnel. Interesting. Bubble blood. Is that like bubble butt? Bubble, bubble, bubble blood, bubble blood. Cool, that's a tongue twister. Oh, those are alphas. Gotta be careful. I'm just a beta.
one more. I don't think those ones count. They haven't got the little icon next to their nameplate. Hairy egg. That sounds interesting. Gosh. Could you imagine a hairy egg? That would be weird. Like if you open a little carton of eggs and one of them's just hairy. <laughs> That'd be so weird. Oh, I need to kill him. There he is, right ahead. Sorted. Okay, that's all of them done. Back we go. So yeah, I'll um, hand these in, get to the inn, and uh, I'll go and hit the hay, I think. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back. points I'm afraid not yet anyway soon soon I will have conquest do I need to buy something from him no to get it down but maybe you have to kill it might be similar to the other one where I just have to kill its kind of babies Hi. oh hey lucky pomodor how are you I'm uh, I'm not going to be streaming for much longer by the way, I'm uh, kind of just doing this uh, last, last little bit of quest and then I'm going to head to bed. Um, I just want to see if I can bring this rare spawn down somehow, I'm not sure how but with the other one it was just you killed stuff on the ground and it would eventually come down but I'm not sure
Ah, uh, maybe these eggs? Yeah, kill these and then it'll come down. Oh, I think it's coming down now. It is, it is indeed. Thing does a bit of damage, doesn't it? The uh, whirlwind thing it's got. I mean, compared to other things, I mean, it doesn't hurt you at all, really, apart from that ability. Oh, gosh, we're gonna drop anything good. Crossbow, lovely, just what I don't need, thank you. Oh, am I lagged out? server me test oh, I think I've test. lagged out oh no I'm still in chat I think I've just been disconnected from yeah disconnected from wow again <sighs> why does it do this just as I want to go to bed I need to get to an inn. I refuse to leave my character out in the wilderness. too many add-ons probably, that's why it takes so long. So I've done their quests, I've done, I'm almost done with theirs. So I've got these two left and I think that's just linked to that and he's linked to everything so. Four Covenants is it? Maldraxxus? Vent here. Don't know. And Night Fay, I guess. Gosh, what's going on? Mm, I don't think I'm getting back in. I think I might be poop. I think, oh no, there we go, I spoke too soon. Has it rolled me back? Have I got that crossbow? I think it rolled me back, didn't it? Honestly, I couldn't give a shit if it's rolled me back. Um, whatever. Let's Let's go and uh, get to the inn and log out. Is there an inn here? Any innkeeper? There's got to be an innkeeper around here somewhere. What about here? General oh. goods, no. Innkeeper, innkeeper, anyone? Match scheduler. We'll see, like an arena. The cycle has brought you to. Oh, I don't know. 
Because maybe there's no in here. Is there a flight person up there somewhere? How do I get there? That's the dungeon. Or raid. Maybe over here. Ah, oh, yeah, there's an innkeeper. Nice. We've got quartermaster here. Oh, it's uh, pet stuff. I've got a lot of charms actually. What's this do? Death fetish. Oh, it's like something that goes on your back. So. That's kind of interesting. So for gold you can buy that. They're for pet charms. Combine an animated to create a battle pet. What? Memory of the Battle of the Moor. <laughs> it's a pretty horrible tab up, but there you go. Okay, cool. Um, that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Thank you for joining, and uh, sorry that some of you came quite quite late into my stream. Well, not late. It was only an hour, but anyway, thank you. And I'll, uh, I'll stream again tomorrow, maybe. Uh, maybe carry on with that uh, tell me why series game awesome okay thanks guys and uh, peace out